Hakej Nurul Saya nak mengesahkan bahawa beberapa suspek telah pun uh, ditahan polis dan uh, sekarang ni um, di soal asas di soal asas dalam ke sorry sorry Okey dalam kes Nurul um, saya nak mengesahkan hari ini bahawa pihak polis telah pun uh, menahan beberapa suspek yang uh, peringkat awal dikategorikan sebagai uh, missing persons case uh, bila mayat di uh, Jumpai telah pun diklasifikasikan oleh pihak polis sebagai kes bunuh. Kedua, um, suspek-suspek berkenaan uh, sedang disiasat tetapi di sini saya ingin uh, mengucapkan terima kasih kepada semua pihak khususnya orang ramai yang uh, telah pun uh, bukan saja menunjukkan um, rasa marah dan juga sanggup bekerjasama rapat dengan pihak PDRM dalam kes-kes yang cukup menyayatkan hati ini tetapi meletak ke tepi kepentingan-kepentingan lain sama ada ideologi politik ke pertimbangan pertimbangan peribadi ke dalam kes-kes sebegini dapat menyatu padukan uh, orang ramai uh, untuk bersama-sama dengan pihak berkuasa untuk menanganinya memberikan kita harapan Sesungguhnya ada perkara-perkara pokok yang tak boleh kita kompromikan kerana politik Tak boleh kita kompromikan kerana isu-isu kaum ke agama Kerana ini memerlukan kerjasama uh, semua pihak Dan pendekatan yang kita bawa melalui transformasi kerajaan sekarang GTP Ialah pendekatan di mana semua pihak-pihak berkepentingan Khususnya agensi-agensi dan juga kementerian-kementerian yang boleh membantu telah berganding bahu untuk menurunkan uh, kadar-kadar indeks jenayah contoh jenayah jalanan tetapi dalam kes ini kita tengok bahawa kemarahan orang ramai uh, terhadap mereka yang terlibat ini uh, merupakan sesuatu yang boleh menyatu padukan kita I look forward to um, moving ahead on this and working with the NGOs working with the public Um, but uh, I am not happy that it happened But uh, the responsibility must be shared by all So I can confirm that we have arrested a few um, people in this, in this matter um, They are being investigated uh, To make sure that uh, there are no other suspects That uh, uh, will, get, will get free And also to make sure that the innocent Doesn't get prosecuted because of emotions ada soalan tak? So, oh, bukan. Are they only the four or are we looking at uh, other suspects? We already have some suspects which are under uh, detained and being investigated right now, interrogated. Um, but um, we want to make sure that nobody else out there who are involved um, is free in wanting to release more information to the public regarding the, the, the matter. Yang ditahan tu ada hubungan keluarga dengan Munsa ke? Um, Setahu saya tak ada. Before it was a missing person's case, until the body was discovered, we, then we, de uh, we reclassified the case as a murder case. So I assume that uh, anybody who is being investigated here uh, would be uh, looking at a murder charge. Uh, hmm? Well, it depends on the, uh, not for the police to decide, and it's for the chambers to decide on what charge to, to bring. But our uh, job is to find whoever uh, may be responsible and based on the evidence that exists then it's up to the AG to decide what charge to bring and to whom but uh, I want to I want to, to inform the public uh, because of the interest the public interest that has been created by this case um, that we do have uh, some people under in custody they are being investigated 
and uh, at least um, emosi uh, do not uh, overcome emotions are not overcome our actions because they too will have to go through due process and I do not want people who are innocent because of emissions becomes uh, uh, charged and secondly those who may be other suspects and involved get away scot-free I better not confirm yet because uh, the, the, there may be more two days ago uh, for the moment they are local uh, I will reveal that later. Very sad case uh, and something that I personally do not take lightly. In fact, immediately after this, I'm going to be a to find out more details about it. But uh, the response from the public and the fact that they were going to cut across race, religion, politics gives me hope that the basic good of Malaysians when it comes to cases such as this um, unites us. But it's sad that only uh, negative um, matters like this unite. We have to find positive uh, touch points that can unite Malaysians as one. Not yet. But we have very strong leads there. Yeah. No improvement we done. So what's happening? What's happening? No, there are, some of them have been upgraded. And uh the Isikika Bajikan, Wagga KDN, uh Dari Pada Awalagi Say Gata Murupakan Siswatu, Yang uh Kita Kana Bri Pratian Sapanohya. Kalau sekiranya kita nak uh Pegawai Pegawai kita bekerja lebih dan memberikan uh, tumpuan kepada perkara-perkara yang mungkin legacy mungkin perkara-perkara yang kompleks mungkin perkara-perkara yang merupakan fenomena dunia yang tanpa sempadan pada hari ini uh, kita juga mesti pastikan bahawa keselesaan dan uh, kebajikan mereka dijaga jadi baru-baru ini saya ke Johor tengok perumahan pegawai-pegawai uh, immigration kita uh, pihak polis um, juga telah pun menyenaraikan balai-balai yang perlu dinaik taraf but it is a gradual process because some of the matters involves land where we have to discuss with the state another is because um, of the people that uh, are going to be filled up in this balai-balai uh, no point having balai polis tetapi tak ada ahli anggotanya yang boleh uh, diisi di dalam balai-balai berkenaan is there addition to the allocation given and how uh, many have been upgraded here? Um, I don't have the exact details, uh, but uh, it's an ongoing process and we are lucky, to be honest, because um, we have been identified as one of the NKRA and there are special allocations for that. Otherwise, it would be very difficult for me to not only look at their welfare, but also to look at more police personnel, balai balai bergera, all those things that we did to reduce the crime index in those 50 hotspots. A lot of money has been spent and we have gone towards that. Ini uh, sedikit banyak uh, berkisar kepada apa sebenarnya asas keadilan yang perlu kita uh, perjuangkan. Uh, cuma kadang-kadangnya banyak perkara yang dibangkitkan bila-bila pergi di, di sebelah sana ada pertimbangan-pertimbangan lain daripada apa yang uh, merupakan perjuangan asas mereka atau dalam konteks so, senario politik hari ini uh, merupakan pertimbangan politik masing-masing kita di KDN uh, core business kita mudah 
Ianya berhubung kait untuk memastikan keselamatan dan ketenteraman awam Pastikan bahawa undang-undang kita dipatuhi Dan itu merupakan pertimbangan kita Kalau sekiranya kes itu uh, melibatkan dan menjejaskan ketenteraman awam, keselamatan atau undang-undang Saya daripada dulu lagi, saya tak, tak, tak uh, ter Ter, uh, memilih bulu dan tak akan teragak-agak mengambil tindakan yang perlu tetapi kalau ianya bersandarkan kepada politik ianya bersandarkan kepada hujah yang tidak konsisten bukan saya kata Zain tetapi pendirian berhubung kait dengan Israel saya rasa um, KDN perlu membuat keputusan bersandarkan kepada fakta-fakta dan konsistensi yang uh, boleh kita ambil tindakan berasaskan kepada uh, kepentingan ramai tapi itu saya, uh, pagi ini salah seorang pemimpin PDR, Nek Nazmi dah mengaku yang mereka memang menggunakan bukti Saya tahu, so, sebab tu kita kena mengikuti dulu perbahasan jawab menjawab ni Hari-hari kita dapat terbukti dan baru Jadi KDN tak pernah mengambil tindakan uh, sebelum kita dapat semua fakta-fakta untuk kita siasat Dan tak perlu saya membuat uh, kenyataan tindakan kita sehingga semuanya telah pun di dibahaskan sepenuhnya jadi biar kita tunggu dulu apa lagi mungkin besok lain pula cerita dan mungkin ada tambahan fakta yang boleh kita beras, kita boleh asaskan apa dua tindakan yang akan diambil memang pantau saya pantau semua dalam hal-hal berhubung kait dengan kedudukan kita saya dalam hal ini jangan main-main kerana kedudukan dunia yang tanpa sempadan hari ini Perkara-perkara yang boleh mencetuskan emosi Perkara-perkara yang boleh menyentuhkan isu perkauman dan keagamaan Isu-isu yang berhubung kait dengan keganasan Itu semua merupakan asas kepada kewujudan kementerian dalam negeri dan uh, core business Pihak polis pun Tetapi jangan mana-mana pihak cuba nak mempolitikkan ini Itu yang kita cuba elak kerana akhirnya yang akan terjejas yang akan jadi mangsa orang ramai yang tak berdosa session if it, there was a lot of protests and demonstration it would have come to my attention i didn't i didn't see that and i didn't feel that and i don't know how that it can make it sorry yeah but it's not it's though it's going to affect the the proceedings and it didn't so why should it be different this time no i didn't don't think the precautions that we have taken this time round is any different from other sessions The motion is always normal. That is a normal motion that has been tabled by KDM to get permission because our officers are not allowed to come in. This is every session we have to bring the motion, eh? nothing special. Eh? Yeah. I think this matter is not new. I think there is already a, a, a file open on this matter. And uh, there's already a case. Huh? You no, know, any matters that has been in the public, there will be a file that has been there. And this matter, like I said, is not new. It's been revised again now. So we'll just look at the, what are the facts, whether there are any new facts uh, from the last time. Kalau sekiranya apa yang dibangkitkan kali ini sama seperti apa yang dulu sebelum saya memimpin KDM dan pada ketika itu tidak ada tindakan yang diambil tidak ada perkara-perkara baru yang dibangkitkan kali ini apa sebabnya patut saya mengambil tindakan yang berbeza daripada tindakan yang diambil dahulu Yes Anything else? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen no. Any update? No. Yet. Do you think it's likely for the ISA to be able to be able in this session, or do you think it's going to be prolonged? Well, it's, it's a bit premature for me to to say, um, but I believe that the AG 
um, and the chambers uh, have been working on it with the stakeholders. But I would like it, um, the, the engagement process with the stakeholders to go on before we actually table it. Because there are a lot of people who are interested, whether it's the Bar Council, whether it's the human rights groups, um, whether it's Suhakam. Um, I think this engagement process before tabling it to, to the parliament, I think is something that everybody will, um, will uh, encourage. Because uh, we do not want to, we've got nothing to hide. It is for the good of the future of, of what we want, we want to table in Parliament. So hopefully if you are rational about it and the process of engagement goes on, I think the public can see that what the government is trying to do is really to, to do better uh, in the context of the security laws that is being looked at. Not only for the ISA, but for those that have been um, abolished uh, recently without any uh, major turmoil and upheaval thanks to the police. <laughs> we don't know. I think, uh, let me have a look at the, uh, the draft first. Uh, and then maybe if there want to be check and balances, since we are the ones who are going to use the laws, maybe it would be better for the, that's my own personal view, for the AG to engage. Yes, I say it's not been abolished. Not, I mean, the other security laws. The ones that, have, trust me, the ones that have been abolished, we have taken uh, preemptive measures and we have looked at it in total because our core business is to make sure that the public is safe. So when you talk about the um, Banishment Act, when we talk about the uh, Akta Buang Daerah dan sebagainya, um, we just made sure that uh, it did not affect um, the public at large and basically that these acts are now really quite irrelevant and it would not affect us in the in, in, in the, in the in, uh, but having said that it wasn't easy to monitor all those that were brought back and allowed to to, to go back to their hometown thank you thank you very much let me rest for a while before i go to the government i'm not looking forward to this <laughs>